everyone and welcome to 404s of the World, a spin-off series of Remarkable Legends where I briefly cover the history of an engine number 404 in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. In this episode of 404s of the World, we'll be looking at our first freight railroad which rosters a 404, specifically AC 4400 CW number 404. Considering that this is a relatively new and common engine, I will try my best to go over the history of its class, as well as its significance within the class. So with that said, here is a brief history of CSX 404. It's the 1990s, and General Electric just gained a large amount of recognition and respect from the Class 1s after a decade's worth of reliability with the Dash 8, and now they're ready to impress the market again with their newest innovation, the Dash 9. At the same time, GE is also offering variants to this class using AC traction, a type of power which numerous railroad manufacturers are starting to focus on developing due to their increased reliability and adhesion as well as lower maintenance. The first series in this AC traction variant is the AC44CW, with the AC standing for the alternating current, 44 standing for 4400 horsepower, C standing for 6 axles, and W standing for wide cab. Over 2800 of these engines were produced for various class 1s, with one of the most well known on the east coast, CSX, purchasing the second most amount with 615. But even the Dash 9 variants themselves had variants, and some variants offered an optional self-steering truck design for an even greater performance. The second batch of these engines for CSX included this feature as they were number 200 to 500, with the locomotive to be focused on number 404 being built towards the middle of the batch in September 1999. Once built, 404 and other AC44s would be found in mainline service hauling a variety of heavy freight throughout the CSX system. Additionally, when engines get dirty from their work, some crew members write messages in the dirt. Considering the spirit of program which CSX occasionally applied on their engines, one lucky engineer correctly predicted the name of another AC44, specifically number 12, by writing Spirit of Louisville in 404's dust. 404 was briefly taken out of service when it was stored in Galesburg, Illinois in 2011, but it soon returned to service. Around six years later, part of its logo would be worn off due to diesel exhaust flames around 2017 as the engine became more and more than started to show its age. When presented with aging locomotives, manufacturers and railroads usually undergo rebuild programs to keep their existing locomotives running well into the future. CSX is doing just that with their AC44s, as while I am making this video, CSX and GE are in the midst of a rebuild program for their AC44CWs to be converted into CM44ACs, where they will receive upgraded engines new cabs and will be renumbered to 7000 through 7299. Even though 404 is likely to be rebuilt and repainted with a YN3 livery, its legacy will still remain as one of the last users of the YN2 paint scheme on CSX, the Class 1 freight railroad of the Eastern Seaboard. Thank you all for watching this episode of 404 in the World. Even if this engine is a common locomotive type and hasn't gone through too much change, its YN2 livery is keeping the railroad's heritage alive and well, and making the engine stand out when compared to hundreds of other CSX Y cabs. Stay tuned next time when I cover a 3 in 1 special for Union Pacific 404. Thank you again for watching. Credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.